So something we haven't talked about, or not that much, is the fact that sound involves compressions and expansions of a medium. So when there's a compression, it's going to be a little hotter, and when there's an expansion, it's going to be a little colder, right? So thermodynamics is connected to sound. And um, what I'd like to show you now is the fact that it's possible to use heat. So, so thermodynamics create, you know, generates heat, you can think of it that way. The reverse can happen too. So there are several ways of doing it. This is the old one. This is by uh, Rika in 1859, he discovered this. And again, it's really complicated. There's a tube with a metal screen in it. I don't know if you can see it, but right about here, there's just a metal screen, just a cheap kind of screen. Okay, and this is a Rika tube. So I'll show you what he discovered here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, that's not the I'm going to heat the wire screen, okay? Yeah, that's not the demo. The demo. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not. I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still, ah, it's still going. And it doesn't work this way. So what's got to be happening here? I mean, this is hard to explain. It needs convection. It needs that rising air that's created by the heat here. So it works here. And for some reason, it doesn't work going, you know, there's convection here, but it's the wrong way. You've got to have it, it has to be from where the screen is to the other side. And here there's no convection. Let's test it. Let's test that observation. I want to heat this up. Okay. No sound, right? Okay. So, here's the wire screen. When I'm going this way, we're forcing the flow through this way. When you force it this way, it doesn't work. But it works. So you can use the Riki? Rika. Rika. Rika tube to tell what direction you're running. <laughs> <laughs>